Hello devs, another two minute tool and tip Tuesday here. This week we're going to take a quick look at bookmarks within Android Studio. We'll look at a quick overview of what they are, how we can set them, and how we can go back and jump between them later to make navigation between those really important parts of our code a little bit easier. First off, let's execute the show bookmarks shortcut to pull up the bookmarks window. On Mac, that shortcut is Command F3 by default, and on Windows, it's Shift F11 by default. We'll see here that we have no bookmarks currently, so let's add some now. To create a basic bookmark, put your cursor on the line you want to bookmark, and then execute the toggle bookmark command. That's F3 on Mac, F11 on Windows. This will toggle it on or off. If we now open the bookmarks window, we'll see the two bookmarks that we just added and we can jump between them and see the code. Now let's move our cursor to a new line and we'll see that we can add numbered bookmarks as well. In this case, Control Shift 1 on Mac or Shift Control 1 will create bookmark labeled 1. You can change the numeric value to change the bookmark number. Now, if we once again open the bookmarks window, we'll see that we have two generic bookmarks as well as two numbered bookmarks. Shortcuts are available to jump directly to numbered bookmarks. We have shortcuts available for bookmarks one through nine. To jump to a bookmark, use control and then the number of the bookmark. We can set bookmarks in multiple file types. So in this case, we'll now add a bookmark to an XML layout file in addition to our previous Java file bookmarks. If we now move back between those, open up our bookmarks window, we will once again see that we have the newly added bookmark and we can jump between our Java bookmarks and our XML bookmarks. There are many shortcuts available for working with bookmarks. If we start to look up actions and type a bookmark, we'll see that we have the shortcuts for jumping to a specific bookmark, for traveling between next and previous bookmarks, for toggling numbered bookmarks. If we look here towards the bottom, we see this toggle bookmark with mnemonic. If we run that shortcut, we can create a bookmark and then assign it a mnemonic value. So in this case, I'll select F. So this shows that we're not strictly tied to creating bookmarks one through nine and that's it. We can actually label our bookmarks using other specific values as well. And the last thing I wanna show is that in the bookmarks window, we can actually click the little edit icon and type a description for the bookmark. This is useful so that when we come back to this list later, we can have a little bit of context of what this bookmark is, why we bookmarked, and maybe why we would wanna go back to it. All right, so that's it for bookmarks for now. Hopefully this comes in handy next time you need to keep track of multiple specific locations in your code base.